What's going on everybody? My name is Blast. Uh, this video, I'm DOD smart cards, uh, particularly for active duty military reserves, National Guard, and also DOD civilians and Linux. It's not difficult. It's a little different than Windows, but it's 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 not difficult. Um, so we'll just get into it. Now I'm using Endeavor OS, which is Arch based. However, all of these tools are in the Mint and Ubuntu repositories. Um, they're also in the RPM Fusion repositories for Fedora. So depending on what distro you have, you will be able to find these. You can usually just search it up on Google and figure out um, what you need to do. And if it's not there, you can just add the repository. But this is for Arch. So we'll just get into it. So the first thing, which I think I have some of these, because um, I recently reinstalled my uh, distro. But the first thing is going to be PC or PCSC Lite, um, and cool. And then the next thing is going to be yay dash s ccid. I'm going to install that. And then yay dash s which isn't which allows you to uh, which allows you to test the smart card. And then the next thing is going to be uh, open sc. Which is going to be the actual smart card interface. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start uh, P uh, PCSD. So it's going to be two commands here. So it's going to be enable PCSCD and start PCSCD. So um, I'm just going to copy these and I will post these instructions um, in the uh, description. All right, so uh, the next thing is we're going to go to this link here. Um, so this is a this is where all of the, your certs are located. And let me make sure I'm giving it right. You're going to be looking for um, this one right here. So found it. And then what you're going to do is you are going to download it. It's going to be a zip file. I'll just put it in your documents for now. Um, and these are the unclass certs that you need for uh, setting up your smart card. And then you just want to extract it. And we'll just create a new folder. Name it DOD certs. And then extract it. And now they will all be in there. So if we go to documents, DOD certs, they're all going to be in there. All right. So now we just need to go to Firefox. I do recommend using Firefox. It is a bit of a pain to do it on Chrome or Chromium browser. You got to go, you got to open up Firefox and you go into settings. And then you are going to go down to privacy and security. And then you are going to go to do, 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 do. certificates. You're going to view certificates. And now we're going to import certificates. So I'm going to go to import. I'm going to go to documents. We'll go to duty certs. And all of these certificates here, we are going to import. Um, we do have to import them one at a time, though, unfortunately. And then you're going to trust the CA to identify websites and trust the CA to email users. And you're going to basically do the same for all of them. And so I guess, and then if we go down to U.S. government... Should say U.S. government, something like that. Yep. So it's going to add all of the U.S. government certs, and then you're going to click OK. Then you go to security devices, and you're going to load a security devices. So we're going to just name this DoD CAC. We're going to basically navigate to. We're going to basically type this in, or we can copy and paste it. Again, all of these instructions will be in the description. And bam. So they're all there. Oh. Once you log in, obviously I'm not going to show you the actual DoD login screen because it's going to show my DoD ID. But you're just going to put your CAC pin in. And as you can see, now you can log into Ipsay, 
uh, do what you can need to do. Log into remote desktop using the web version, which actually works pretty well. Um, although usually if I need to use that, I just dual boot. I just log into my Windows install. But yeah, hopefully that was simple. And I'll talk to you all later.